Hi hey guys, 732 Review Crew here. I'm Mikey. I'm Joe. And I'm Mike. We are back today with our Patreon picked movie. This movie is the Dark City Director's Cut. Now, I have not seen this movie. It's actually Dark City, not The Dark City. Okay. I've never seen this movie. I've never heard of this movie. That's impressive. Which That's the most impressive, impressive part. Yeah. <laughs> it is very impressive. Now, this is a thriller sci-fi movie that came out in 1998. And uh, that's all we know. That's all we know. We didn't know anything else about the lore besides the fact that it won in our Patreon poll. Now, if you do have interest in deciding what we watch, including movies and TV shows, make sure you do head over to our Patreon and check out our Patreon tiers, which do feature a movie to length, that a movie tier that lets you pick basically what movies we want to you want us to watch. Other than that, though, we're going to be starting this one in three, two, one, and thank you for joining us for Dark City. Pocket watch. Froze, bud. It stopped at midnight. Pretty fucking eerie hotel with one window. I'm very confused so far. Then pay attention. Oh, uh, is there a goldfish? Yes. No. Put it in the bathtub full of blood. Uh, fill up the sink. Is it the toilet? No, it's, it's the bloody bathtub. It's the black bit. Shell beat. So is he supposed to be like amnesia? I think so. You have lost your memory. There was an experiment. Something went wrong. Your memory was erased. Do you understand me? No, I don't understand. What the hell is going on here? Just listen. There are people coming for you, even as we speak. You must not let them find you. You must leave now. Huh. Is that the guy from 24? Yeah. Jack Bauer? Yeah. Oh, it's a dead lady. Did he kill her? They look like friendly people. Look how tall that one yeah, guy is. Dude's in fucking dude. massive. Dude, it's stuck at midnight? Yeah. That's the experiment. People are not moving. That's crazy. Wait, what? They could have just fallen asleep. Hey, Mr. Murdoch. The automat called said you left your wallet there. Why do I feel like this is giving like Truman Show vibes? That design's pretty interesting because it's all like real set. Are they creatures in human form? Where is he? He he just left not five minutes ago. No. Okay, so they have that ability. Fucking love this song. Oh, and who is she? Oh, um. I'm confused. This is the first one of the first times that I'm actually stumped watching something. Excuse me. Dr. Schreiber, please, won't you come in? Is this the guy with the hat? Mm hmm. What? Emma Murdoch. Okay, so it's. Okay. Such short notice. He had been grappling with feelings of betrayal stemming from her marital difficulties. When was the last time that you saw him? Three weeks ago. It appears that John has suffered a psychotic break. Complete memory loss. He may be delusional. Huh. Even violent. It is imperative that I be the first one to reach him. You didn't really give a psychiatrist vibe. No. My name's Jason Murdoch. Murdoch. John Murdoch. Jake Murdoch. How's it going? Hi, Jack Murdoch. Hi. <laughs> Did he have like some kind of psychotic break and kill the prostitute? or something. You don't like that so far. I said, listen, three weeks is three weeks. It's a different it's a guy. He is. Is. Upstairs, sir. Now the call go. Jay Murdoch. Am I glad you're here, sir? They say Detective Walensky's got the heebie-jeebies. Just take what they give me, Hustlebeck. Oh, is that what's drawn on the woman? His fingertip? His fingerprint? I don't know. Because there's like a weird spiral. Yeah, I saw that. What's with all the street sweeping? That's got to be significant. You got to keep it nice and clean so that way it stays dark. <laughs> wow, that's a very dreary automat. I think it's food. Hello? Do you know what an automat is? You left your wallet here, buddy. Wait, when, when did I do that? When you was last here. 
When, when was that? When you left your wallet. You expect me to remember? Hey, cool, bro. They're not there for you. Oh. What the what? fuck? He has some kind of psychic power? Yeah, he's got psychic power. Psychotic break. Where you headed, Chief? Home. Well, there's a killer out there in case you hadn't noticed. Maybe you should be out looking for him instead of cooling your heels, huh? Who's she? What kind of killer do you think stops to save a dying fish? Get us off! Get There's no way out! Mm. Is a detective that just went crazy? I think he knows about those three guys. How long have you been married? Nearly four years. Why do you ask? Because you seem uncomfortable with your ring. Yeah. Do you even check if he had cash? Did you call girl? Also? Yeah. Yes. yes. I, yeah. Damn, bro. I don't think she. Oh. But she also saved him. The cops. What the fuck? And now time's sp speeding up. So it seems you've discovered your unpleasant. Oh, he is it. Sleep. Now. Oh, his mind. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Jesus. What? What is going on? Worms? What is going on? Psychic? Spider worms? The brain was a spider? I'm so confused. There's a lot of them? They're a hive mind. They call that tuning, okay. I only have one theory currently at all that makes any sense to me. What's your theory? My theory, like the guy behind the counter at the hotel, whoever the killer actually was, for whatever reason, got replaced by them. That's why he woke up with amnesia and has no idea who he is or anything. Just like, but instead, due to maybe him having psychic powers or whatever, he's regaining that ability, unlike the guy in the hotel. You're supposed to be my wife. I feel like I'm living out someone else's nightmare. What happened to me? Why was I seeing a doctor? Living out someone else. I was with one of those women before I came here tonight. I don't understand. I guess I wanted to test myself. Maybe I have lost my mind, but whoever I am, I'm still me, and I'm not a killer. Oh, he was trying to see if he could kill her, but he couldn't. Damn. If he wanted to kill her, or would kill her, I guess. John! <laughs> Hold it right there, mister! You're not gonna believe what I have to say. Trump. Yeah, who's gonna listen to a madman? Man? And decide this is murder. Run! Oh, Good for her. Hey. She just committed a crime, though. Yeah, but it's the 90s. Fucking ride or die, though. I mean, I fuck with that. That was. Huh? What? What? Hidden door or made a door? No, he made a door. What? He makes stuff where he. What? He's a tuner, so that means he can tune the world to what he wants? You know how uncomfortable we find all this moisture? It can't be worms, I don't like moisture. We found this in his hotel room. I tried to imprint him, but he woke up, he knocked the syringe right out of my hand. I tried to stop him, but he was too fast. This one can tune. But that's impossible. I thought only you had that ability. It's almost midnight, Dr. Schreiber. We'll talk again after no. tonight's tuning, but... No more delay. What happens at midnight? Mm. If they can control time, they're in control of everything. And that's why it seems like we're only ever in an endless cycle of it being night and dark. That's a dark city. I've been over every inch of this city. Scaring your wife to death, Eddie. She's not my wife. I don't know who she is. You think about the past much, Frank? Mm. There is no case. There never was. But what's the motive? Are they stealing people's stuff? No, they're making stuff. They're making memories. What is it? The recollections of a great lover? A catalog of conquests? Are they generating memories for people? They touch 
of unhappy childhood. Synthesizing memories. Yes. They're synthesizing people. No memory. Like like personalities and people. Oh. Um. Why does Murdoch not sleep during the tuning as the others do? I don't know. Maybe he's a step up the evolutionary ladder. Weren't you looking for the human soul? That's the purpose of your little zoo, isn't it? I kind of get yes, it. Yes, I was right. Yeah. The whole city is an experiment and they're in control of everything. And they're trying to... The city is the rat in his maze. And tuning it is literally moving things around, people yes. around to see what works best. Yes. And they're trying to see who has the powers, potentially. Well, they said they're looking for the soul. Yeah. Why? That's pretty sick. What the hell? It's a clock. So 12 o'clock is hitting, so everything's going to stop moving at 12 o'clock. Yep. Except for people who can tune. It's driving me crazy. I can't sleep. And they call my job unskilled. Okay, all those clocks freeze. They fall asleep. And now the tuners can come and place them. Is that the city? Yeah. It is. They're, they're shifting the city to how they want it. What the fuck? Did they kill a doctor? Oh, well, he's sleeping. No, he's sleeping. Oh. Oh, he's right there. Oh, is this a new person? Maybe he was making people. Yeah. Yeah, well, they added a new person. Yes, so he just inserted all of the memories into his mind. Right. He just took with somebody's back with him. He's... Oh, they're making them, like, wealthy. Yeah. That's why he had the blood mark on his forehead at the beginning of the movie. Mm. Yeah, so I'm going to say then the test is like learning human nature and like... Well, they said they're looking for the human soul. So why were the prostitutes killed? What if they weren't, Mike? They may never have, yeah. Wow, that house is massive. They were in an apartment five minutes ago. God damn, that's some ostentatious columns. Can they do he it was talking too? about how they took her jobs. Can they do that to me too? Just <laughs> go to sleep, Mikey. Dr. Schreiber, I presume. Ooh. Please, I want to help you. We cannot talk here. It is not safe. If they see us together, who are they? Why are they trying to kill me? Answer me! Ooh. You have their power. You can make things happen by will alone. Let me help you, John. Together we can stop them. We can take the city back. So cool. The Life and Times of John Murdoch, Volume 2. Everywhere he goes, everyone he seeks out will be known to us. What the fuck? The beach that memories he talks about. Mm -hmm. Killing a prostitute. He did kill the woman. Oh fuck. No, he was supposed to kill the woman. Well, he technically did then. Oh, uh, it's the guy from the hotel. You, uh, been working here long? 25 years. No days off for good behavior. So I need to be on the green line. Doesn't exist. I'm just laughing at myself. Leave me alone with her. <laughs> There's work to be done. Yeah. Yikes. Did kill the prostitutes, actually. There's no way to get there. Get out of the city, believe me, I've tried. Oh, it's another tech. Yeah. They steal people's memories, you know. Then they swap them around between us. How do you know all this? Once in a while, one of us wakes up while they're changing things. I figured a way out. Oh, fuck. There you didn't hear an impact or anything, though. I, I, think, no. I think he's dead, though. But imagine a life alien to yours. In which your memories were not your own, but those shared by every other of your kind. No experiences to call your own. Are they a hive mind community? That's the vibe I got off the rip. But if you were to discover something different, something. Oh! Better. Oh! They're trying to get individuality themselves. Well, they're in a wet place. What's the significance of the goldfish then? Wet place? <gasps> Wet place. 
Was he in the bathtub so that they couldn't get him? I think the goldfish was just to show that he didn't murder those women. Oh no, it's a girl. <laughs> Johnny. I assume this is. So damn wrong. I thought you'd forgotten your uncle. Carl. Yeah. How the fuck would they have a billboard of the beach Shelby at the is beach? Where I grew up. I need to get there, Carl. How do I get there? I don't know. I haven't been there in years. Come on, you must remember. Is everybody from Shell Beach? What happened to my parents? Where are they now? They're dead, Johnny. They died when the house burnt down. I looked after you. It's a scar. You burnt your arm pretty bad in the fire. What does it mean, Johnny? It means these are all lies. Okay, so it's all fake lies implanted by those creatures. Oh yeah, the daughter, right? Oh. Oh God. What's she drawing? The men. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. It wasn't him. It was a gift from my mother. I keep it with me to remind me of her. Was he playing that at the beginning? I don't remember. I was like, was it him? This movie's fucking with me. <laughs> I can't remember when she gave it to me. Mm. How do you think I could forget a thing like that? What's happening, Inspector? I'm not sure I know. I saw them becoming self-aware of what's happening. Because of... I wonder if they'll be awake next. I don't understand. How can it be night already? What happened in the day? How'd I miss it? You're tired. Anything's possible. Look, uh, get some sleep. We'll straighten all this out tomorrow. I assume to expedite the experiment. You know? It's just 12 hour days. Yeah. He also hasn't slept since he woke up. I know. But I guess it's only been two... Day. Huh. Empty. Uh oh. Carl, haven't seen you in so long. Yes. What? He did his fly? Yeah, the mint the yeah. Nope, they're still. He's gotta learn how to use his power. Yeah, you better learn how to fucking fly, bro. Because they're using their power against him. You've been the cause of much distress. Hey. Woo! Hey. The city's ours. We made it. What are you talking about? We fashioned this city on stolen memories. We knew K okay, were good. Each night we revise it, refine it, in order to learn what makes you human. Hey. We need to be. Good call, Mikey. Okay. We use your dead as vessels. Oh. <laughs> They occupy dead bodies. Explains why they're so ghastly. Oh, oh yeah, they need to hold the fish. Oh my god. Jeez, dude. Jeez, dude. Oh, the little kid one is the creepiest. Oh no. Oh, Mickey stairs, bro. Is this what the trope's from? Ow. Why? Fuck that little kid. He is a dick. Get in! Hey, whoa. It must mean something, all those pictures. What pictures? I don't understand. Stop playing games with me, Murdoch. Stop telling me no, lies. Stop telling you lies! You heard of a place called Shell Beach? Sure. You know how to get there? You just, uh, you go to the... Where? Where do you go? Just give me a second, will you? When was the last time you remember doing something during the day? Can you come up with a single memory? Making too much sense for them right now. Yeah, can you? No, something I don't think the sun is. Okay. Exists. In this place. There has to be an explanation for this somewhere. Ah. <laughs> uh, use your power. Yeah. Explain this. <laughs> You doing fucking magic tricks now, dude? Yeah, he's, he's free. He's, he's cleared. No, he's still jump. You didn't do it. This affair of yours. What if the first time we ever met, 
was last night in your in our apartment and everything you remember and everything that i'm supposed to remember never really happened someone just wants us to think it did i so vividly remember meeting you <laughs> No one's going to comment on the glass. Okay. There's just weak glass, man. I don't know what you want. <laughs> inefficient glass. Goddamn city budget cuts. <laughs> huh. How can we help you, sir? You can sleep. Sleep. Such a broken power. Yeah. I wanted to be the first to congratulate you about the case. Take us to Murdoch. Uh -huh. Oh, that was unnecessary. No loose ends. What do you mean no loose ends? It can change his memory. <laughs> I'm sorry about this, I truly am, but we do not have much time and I can't the, the luxury of doing this the right way. I need you to inject yourself, it's the only way to make you understand. Okay. You have to do this now. Give me the gun, Doctor. Inspector, he is more disturbed than we thought. What exactly is in this? All the answers you've been looking for, John, I swear to you. Huh? Where are we going? Shell Beach. That's where you want to go. Won't find anything there, I promise you. I've been there and been there. You can show us the way then, can't you? Huh? We'll see for ourselves. You can't make me go there. What's there? He's using his powers. You were saying, Doctor? Used to be a bridge here. <laughs> you, oh, okay. Okay, that works too. She better not die. What? Your apartment's empty. We will give you some more pretty things soon. Anna. I'm not Anna. You will be soon. Oh, they're changing yes. who she is. Yeah. I have another use for her face. Uh-oh. Wait. What? In the dark? Decrepit? The fuck? First, there was dark. Then came the strangers. They abducted us and brought us here. Will a man, given the history of a killer, continue in that vein? Huh. Or are we, in fact, more than the mere sum of our memory? Okay. You have had dozens of lives before now. You just happened to wake up while I was imprinting you with this one. Why are they doing all this? It is our capacity for individuality. <laughs> Our souls that makes us different from them. All they have are collective memories. They share one group mind. Look at you. We like tag team this. And uh, get do better. I so, called the hive mind before Mikey did. Think do better. Save them. Do better. Where do I fit in? You are different, John. Somehow you have developed their ability to tune. They control everything here. Mm. And the sun. That's why it's always dark. They can't stand the light. I understood the intricacies of the human mind better than they ever could. So they allowed me to keep okay. my skills as a scientist. So he was a psychologist, so they're like, you could just keep being one. Let me delete everything else. Jesus Christ. Can you imagine what it is like being forced to erase your own past? What about wow. my past? Your entire history is an illusion, a fabrication, as it is with all of us. You say they brought us here. From where? From where? Yeah. From Shell Beach, baby. Sorry. Oh, no. None of us remember that. Daylight. Is that an outdoor? No. Oh, it's, just some... it's just welcome to Shell Peach sign. Can he make a door in? Yeah, yeah, do it, dude. I need you to shape it. There is no ocean, John. Shape one. Let's find it. Can you just. Yeah, he could have. Yeah. Oh, oh my god, it's, it's actually literally just a void. Oh, okay, it's actually a void. Okay. Oh, is it the night's... Is it the... Wait. 
It's just space, bro. No. This is the this the the, the space that we saw at the opening. Uh, you know the One down. Ooh. They just died? See, they would actually give them guns. Get out into the void. What? Are you kidding me? What just happened? What was that? They're on his spaceship. Holy shit, is it a spaceship even? What the fuck? You'll allow yourself to surrender, Mr. Murdoch. Or it'll result in this one's death, yes. What do I care? She's not my real wife, she's nothing to me. But you do still care. You see, I have become the monster you were intended to be. Oh, oh the, the serial killer, that's Shine the guy that has the okay. life now, as you would have. Okay, okay. Don't hurt her, please. Now. He's gonna pretend to sleep. Just pretend. Right? What the fuck is that? Kill him. The fuck? <laughs> the what creepy kid? Time to be one with John Murdoch. Destroy the clock. Is he gonna slip it out He's of his pocket? Be, yep. Yep. They want to make you one of them so they can share your soul. Oh, he's gonna use the other one instead. Oh, that's such a great idea. Perfect. Oh. You're probably wondering why I keep appearing in your memories. It is because I have inserted myself in them. <laughs> All of these memories have been fabricated to teach you about the strangers, give you a lifetime of knowledge in a single syringe. Getting the hang of it, John. Maybe one day I'll be working for you. <laughs> this is crazy. Strangers use to amplify their thoughts. You must make the machine yours. I know you can beat them, John, but you must concentrate. Something's wrong. There is no time for romance, John. The world can be what you make it. Okay. I get it now. <laughs> shit. It's my reality, bitch. I love that. That's literally what he's doing. Oh. Psychic battle, let's go! Psychic battle, let's see. Oh. Can you just knock him off the cliff? I just love how, like, slapstick this fight is. Fucking. Yeah. Okay. Keyboxed battle. <laughs> Holy shit, he's a fucking little kid. Yeah, fucking little kid. Idiot. Explosions. Oh. Let there be light. Bro, where's his wife? It's not his wife. Where are you gonna want? <laughs> it's a night. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I thought okay. the same thing. Okay. Okay, I can see what they're doing now. Oh, I was gonna send it back. Yeah. Send it back. Oh, okay. Nice. He's dead. Wow. And now use that to channel your energy, dude. That was a big one. You control their machines. Where's Emma? She's not Emma anymore, John. She has been re-imprinted. So give her back her memories. I can't. The facility where the strangers stored the memories has been destroyed. Yikes. Oh. Okay. La Agua. You're right. It's gonna be the. It's definitely gonna be. What? Agua. So the Earth is flat. Uh, it's technically round. <laughs> oh, yeah, she lives at Chow Beach, though. What's the care? He's like, I gotta make the beach before they get here. 
like a little lighthouse. It's a crazy power to have. John. Mr. Hand. I'm dying, John. Your imprint is not agreeable with my kind. But I wanted to know what it was like. You wanted to know what it was about us that made us human. Well, you're not going to find it. In here. <laughs> it's in here. It is the friends we made along the way. I actually really enjoyed that though, because I know it's like a little cheesy, but it also just blew that fucking alien's mind. It's like <laughs> the wrong place. Where? <laughs> I need answers. Yeah. Anna? To make anything he wants, why can't he do that? Hey, you wanna date God? <laughs> <laughs> I'm headed that way myself. Take it. Take the chance. Would you like to join me? Yes. Sure. Yeah. It's my happiness, bro. What's your name? John. John Murdoch. Hmm. He kept the name though. Interesting. No, I'm I glad that's a good ending. Yeah, I'm glad it ended there. Yeah. yeah. They I don't think have... it would have been overkill otherwise if they like didn't, didn't more Where else were they supposed to go? Alright, high five Mikey. Tag teamed it. We did. <laughs> just just do better. Be better at these fucking stuff. guys. <laughs> Honestly, off the rip for this movie, it was very, very... You guys seem really confused. It was very confusing at first, and it was done on purpose. Now, we did read between... It was confusing the... until, like, at what, least a third of the what, line. What was, what was confusing was I, I threw out my theories out there, and you guys were just like, I don't know. <laughs> like you guys seem really you were like oh yeah you were like uh. <laughs> it was hard to make a decision on no that. I know that's yeah. what I'm, I'm there is so you much movie, you, have extra, you guys are like uh, well you uh, you, you extrapolated like, more you than don't us don't know yeah. huh you extrapolated more than us in the sense extrapolated yeah extrapolated extrapolated I, 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 I would say faster but then like halfway through I kind of felt like I should stop saying stuff because like I wasn't totally no, sure make, make I mean proper you know, Fiction, but like yeah. you know it was a good one um now we the difference i wonder what the difference between the standard version versus this was in terms of what it told you in the beginning of the episode yeah I because because like i'm kind of happy we went in not knowing much because it makes it more of a whole experience because obviously we didn't know what was happening uh and the truth of it is there is a group of alien race it looks like that is a hive mind and they want to learn how to become individuals have a soul have a different than a collective mind they, they want, want to become indiv individuals human. yeah and they choose they use dead human bodies to occupy them and kind of have this ability to reform anything, especially when combined together. Now it seems like a human has a more amplified version of this when they can awaken it, and maybe John just got lucky awakening it. It didn't sound like it, it sounded like they were like, "How is that possible?" It, yeah, like it sounded lucky. the equivalent of me just being able to be like, "Yeah, I, I, I can fly yeah. now." It was, and it they were like, like, what? <laughs> and it seemed like they were expecting Because it, it seemed like something their species could yeah. do. But the only thing I could think of at all, hear me out, is when he's talking to his uncle and you see the picture of like the burn mark or whatever. I thought it was like a sting or something of some kind. And I was like, maybe like when they abducted whomever he originally was. Or something, but then they kept reiterating that memory is bullshit. That memory never happened. Yeah, yeah. So like, I it was I supposed to be something that was supposed to be memory, not looked into too much. Yeah. So they, I, I honestly think they just don't give you the answer of how he be, gets the ability, no. and it's just kind of like about that, accept yeah. it. So the yeah. only th I don't know what how he gets the ability, but the only thing I can think of is like the evolved thing is maybe they rehashed him too many times. And that's why his technology wise. That's why his fingerprint went swirly, like how every mm -hmm. like the liquid went swirly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, it seems like they were last time they rehashed him, they were using him to experiment with. It just like, seems like there's fatality. So it's the doctor yeah. then. The doctor. No, no, no. I think it was. I think he's exposed to too much yeah. tuning. The, the doctor was the first one. That yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Suffered. I understand, but the doctor was like still ultimately revealed, like he was still orchestrating it all ultimately in the yeah. sense of the memory input stuff. I think that's because that allows them to have control. I don't know. So, I don't... I hear what you're saying. I just don't know if he had the ability to do that, and this is just more cir like circumstance, like surprise. 
I'm looking for the word. He did call him, though. You know, the, obviously, it had nothing to do with... So all we know, the exact order of events is the doctor is in the hotel room. He's trying to do the syringe. He wakes up. It goes flying. It crashes. He scurries out of the room before he, like, actually realizes what's going on. But then once he wakes up, as he just walks outside of the hotel, he calls the payphone. He answers it. And he is like, hey, you've been part of an experiment, blah, 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 blah. Remember? That might that might have just been him reacting to him waking up. Because why didn't this... What was up with Eddie waking up, but he didn't have superpowers? Sh sure. Well, I think it was just the doctor's attempt to protect him in some way. I, because he... I think the doctor just saw that it happened and kind of was like... All right, I got to make sure I keep track of this well, guy. Well, because he wasn't evil, and it was strictly due, like, he was only complying due to self-preservation, clearly, because ultimately, like, he helped when he needed to. Well, it was also the fact that he had no other memories, so he was purely a psychologist mix that was able to mix. Yes. Yeah. It was... It, and it seemed like they worked him pretty hard. Like, yeah. it seemed like he had a lot of downtime. Yeah. And when he did, he went to the only place he felt remotely safe, and that was the pool. Yeah. <sighs> now, it seems like when they fall asleep at night, it has, like, at midnight, it has some sort of, like, effect on their brains, too, in the sense that it makes them kind of forget about everything going on and allow them to be reprogrammed in the sense they want, which, in effect, makes them not think about daytime. Maybe this, you know, this, you know, psych psychosis or, you know, psychic and psychic induced sleep is what gives them the ability to like you know not need to sleep as much because it looks like to seem like they're not they're functioning fine on a lesser schedule sure fair well yeah. because there's so many we don't know how long the tuning hmm. is right it doesn't seem very long in the movie no. but we don't actually know time wise right. but i was gonna say if anyone ever asked me to describe it i'd be like well i felt like they were it was a video game and it was literally them pressing the pause button, reprogramming some stuff, and then pressing play, and yeah. the game just immediately swapping continued around to see from who, where it left off exactly. Yeah. Swapping people around to see who has better skills and what what functions better. It's, yes. it's like a it's like a interesting um, play on like you know was, how, how to make a, a, a society function more efficiently too, well, or in different ways because they, they were making him murder people to test how murder worked on the psychic yeah and to see if you know if, if you put somebody in a situation where they believe they've murdered will they keep murdering and it turns out no whereas when they the creature that was a hive mind when it was given those memories it kept trying to murder because that was what the believe the yes. conscious was so it followed it felt like that was more programmable versus the human conscious was very strong in effect here uh, well, the hotel employee, when we see they, like, swapped him out. Good guess. Go ahead, it go reminded ahead. me, my first thought is, like, everyone always has that theory of, like, what if this is all just a fucking dream, bro? And I was like, holy shit, I think, like, it, it, that was my f immediate, the moment we saw the guy I change, hate movies I was like, like that. oh, shit, this is all a dream. And it was like, no, but they're, uh, yeah. Whatever. I hate movies like that. Was, that was, like, my internal thought process. It just reminded me of that, like, such a dream, man. Now, it's, it's such an interesting concept to just still to be on it, to be able to plug somebody else into somebody else's life and just go from, you know, we could be sitting here it's like this, and the next moment, you know, we could be awake and there could be a, two other people sitting between us and we know their entire life story just based on implanting dreams. Or, you know, an entire person can be removed or added to society. But also, you can have, like, your entire life. We saw the couple that was, like, down on their luck a little bit get changed into the more like you know upper class yeah and it's just so interesting to see now that power is crazy it literally is god power to do whatever and i like how we spend as little time focusing on how the power works it just it it's works it works because it works i feel like it was kind of like uh like inception might have drew some some traits from this yeah yeah because yeah. like the the whole control what's going on thing and then the the not being aware that you're like in a dream I feel like a lot of those elements we're, we're seeing I here. would agree. And with the city building stuff. Yeah. Was, was I, I would not be surprised if, yeah, like... If they, like, took the tip they, of the hat, kind of. Well, they, it seems like this kind of, like, 
there's a lot of parallels. It obviously in substance a different movie in a different genre. Yeah. But it seems like it, if you're gonna tell me that the writers of that movie didn't watch Dark City and really like it, I'd be surprised. I, at least somebody. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I do want to touch on something you had brought up was the you've been looking in the wrong place the whole timeline. Mm-hmm. Corny or good? Good for to aliens because they they actually take it like the. I liked it. I, I, mean, I liked it. Like, do you wish it wasn't in the movie, or you were like, "Oh, okay." No, no I liked it. I liked yeah, it. I, liked I, it. Too. I liked it. Just because your initial like knee jerk was kind of like, <laughs> well, no, because it's 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 a trope at this point. But it is. and like when this came out, I, and it it fit like the setting of the movie. It, it, it did. That's why, I, and going back to when I said to him um, when he opens the door and like falls out of a skyscraper, the whole like door opening in the building where there's nothing there. That's kind of a trope. That's why I was like, is this from this movie? I don't know. Because this is old, but... It just has to go to TV tropes and yeah, 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 yeah. spend eight hours there. Now, um, <laughs> now, I did really just enjoy this movie. The entire concept was something unique that I've never thought of. or Original. Enough. Yeah. Uh, the creatures were interesting, especially how they functioned. The little one was like creepy. Uh um, They're creepy. I liked... You know, I, I really did enjoy it. It was interesting because it... It's one of those movies that you have to think and you have to be, you know, paying attention during trying to catch what little clues they're giving you, like the background character swapping and then the clock stopping at midnight, except for him, you know, those little things in the beginning. And eventually they explain it to you. But if you don't catch that, you know, you're kind of like, what the hell's going on up until almost three quarters of the way through the movie. So it's a really think on your feet movie. I feel, no, I feel like I was right around halfway when the detective like jumps into the train tracks that it's like. Okay. All right. Okay. This is like they're they're forming a full picture here in this, right? I mean, wouldn't you say that's like the yeah. point where it was like okay, and then shortly yeah. thereafter that it's like okay. it almost feels like with the director's Did cut, they... you find out when the characters find out. Yeah, I I, I feel like this is perfectly paced. In the other version, it's definitely got to be something like on a space station in outer space. Captured by aliens, we join our hero. Well, they kind of, they kind of, <laughs> like, how can they spoil? You know what I mean? Well, they could have like dubbed over the beginning to be like the strangers experiment, blah blah blah, where they change memories every. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I I don't know, but whatever the case, I'm glad Mikey did his thirty second Google search and was like, nope, d- director's cut. <laughs> the right pick. I see. Um. Well, we we, we could check that out after. And that, did you have anything else? The movie? All right. I guess, uh, well, you we should say thank you for, for voting for this. It was definitely, it's pretty rare that... It was, was a, a good follow-up to everything, it, everywhere, all at once. Oh, I, I do need to clarify something. I, I could have sworn the woman was Demi Moore. It wasn't Demi. Demi Moore is G.I.J. Okay. I have so, no idea. <laughs> they look similar. Ah! But I was, I, I just saw her and I was like, Demi Moore, I, I don't know her name, but she was great. Also. So ready? This is the original transcript. First there, was Stran- First there was Darkness and then Ken the Strangers. Their race is old as time itself, mastering ultimate technology, the ability to alter physical reality by will alone, calling this ability tuning, but they were dying. Their civilization was in decline until they abandoned their world, seeking clarity for their own mortality. During this journey, brought them to a small blue world in the furthest galaxy, Earth. Here they finally found they've been searching yeah, for that. you lost me bro thank god, god we didn't watch that version i'm helping the strangers conduct their experiments i've betrayed my own my own kind you're oh. confused aren't you oh so it's a scientist frightened that's all i can help you who is this i'm a doctor you must listen to me you've lost your memory this is oh the phone call something went wrong your memory was erased do you understand me no i don't understand what's going on here there are a lot of people okay. come here as we speak to perfect okay so i just realized now it's, it's interesting because it gives away a lot in the beginning if between this and the director's cut in the original i like the director's cut more because it doesn't assume that you're not going to be able to understand yeah that no i movie. think that makes the yeah. movie worse that makes like you, that's like, like a, probably like a f- I, I for me would have probably made it like like I I don't know I'm gonna give it yeah. like uh seven eight I I'm gonna go an eight out of ten eight, perfect, if please. we didn't watch this yeah. I probably would have been like a six because I would have yeah. been like well you knew the plot points there was yeah I don't know I just yeah. feel like it would have removed all the mystery out of that you, first you know because you're like are they section because at first you're like are they creatures are they aliens are they demons. You know what's going on. And then he's doing fucking Jedi mind tricks, and I'm like, what? yeah, what's what's tuning? But like, he melts yeah. at the floor. They explained it at the right pace. Yeah, 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 exactly. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And like yeah. I said, it's, it was great because it felt like we found out as the characters found out, which is perfectly paced. 
I agree. Now, I don't have anything else to add to you guys. No. God, no. <laughs> I, I, I liked it. Yeah, I enjoyed that. Thank you very much to our Patreon viewers for recommending this to us. Now, if you do have any interest in watching the full length of this or even just recommending movies to us to watch and voting on those, make sure you do head over to our Patreon, which has a movie tier as well as a full length tier. It does help support us as well as you can give recommendations. There's always, you know, there's always censuses going out from me, you know, poll surveys to ask what you want Thanks. to see. I don't know. <laughs> it sounds uh, official. Get some people going. <laughs> Always make sure you do like this video if you haven't already. Let us know if, how you thought about Dark City. If you caught the spoiler, or you know if it got spoiled for you, or if you managed to watch the director's cut and kind of go through it blind for the first time. Otherwise, like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Join us next time for Ice Pirates. <laughs> yeah, Mike sees that. He wants to watch it.